Hi Leo, welcome into a brief next 48 hour tarot reading for you. I hope you're doing absolutely amazing out there. Uh, please do keep in mind as we proceed with this individual reading that it's meant to pertain to about the next, around the next 48 for you, the next two days, beginning uh, when you were drawn or just felt guided to watch this reading. Um, so apply it as you may. For my amazing Leos for the next two days, for the next 48, this is a Salt and Sea Energy Oracle deck. Um, sailors not entanglement, energetic cords, ties, and bonds. It, this is coming through as, uh, for some connections taking a highlight, the entanglements in that sense, uh, maybe uh, a messy energetic situation or two. I do feel as if, uh, you know, for somebody you're dealing with difficult spiritual energy even. Um, but I do also feel this coming through as a commitment that you're wrapped up with that just is not doing it for you, or at least not fully. Um, it's complicated in energy or just negative in energy. Uh, heavy is the word in coming through. There's going to be a situation, and this may be a little bit after the next 48, to be honest with you, Spirit saying no. You're going to end up saying no to it, a new opportunity, a choice that is just not going to be in alignment with you and you'll feel this, all right? You might say, I'm going to think about it um, or delay the choice in another way, but in the end, they're saying no. And then uh, following that, I feel maybe like a week or less than that, uh, after the fact, you will then get a yes otherwise for something more in alignment with you that you're uh, suited for, okay? And it's suited for you. But the Pearl card, Uncovering lost wisdom, hidden knowledge. There's also a, a random reminder in the next 48 to more so moving forward, trust and feel uh, the guidance coming to be from your internal compass. I'm getting Leo, you have been at times searching for answers outside of you too much, regardless of uh, where you're searching uh, you know, for them uh, or longing for them to come from. And so they're reminding you to look within because that's where the guidance and the answers um, of importance, especially at this point along your path, lie. Anyways, ooh, interesting. And so that definitely came up uh, with this card because you're uncovering lost wisdom. You were purposely pushed by spirit to uh, forget this and that, uh, rewinding back uh, because um, you would have overthought it or misused it or you just were meant to forget and now remember and then utilize it in the near future, even for some maybe in the next 48 and surrounding it. But I feel as if you know more than meets the eye um, and you're more in the driver's seat, the ball's more in your court than you're remembering, remembering in certain moments, right? Um, it's as if uh, specifically, and this is not for everybody, there's an ending that's coming to be uh, that you were recently informed of, right? That you didn't expect but they're saying in regards to that, you're more in the situation where the ball is uh, in your court, okay? In your grasp, and so proceed strategically. Um, and again, trust that internal compass and your intuition intertwined with it all the meanwhile. The conch shell, all right? Messages from beyond communication. Oh, take a deep breath, Leo, because it feels like there's going to be a lot of spiritual communications coming through from the other realm. And I feel like uh, you're going to need to, uh, yeah, just, uh, take a deep breath, okay? Not all of it's going to be essential for you to digest or uh, even listen to. I feel like when you naturally are meant to listen and digest and utilize, now or more so moving forward, the spiritual message is coming through. It'll just happen, right? You don't need to force that. Um, look at this, bringing uh, ideas to life, magical creations. Very much was just given an image, a vision of the magician card in the tarot deck. But... Um, you may as well be communicating a lot in different situations with different souls, uh, maybe to a collective, uh, if not several, in, you know, kind of like I do here. Um, but let's move on to the tarot. What else do we have for Leo? We're moving on to the Eight of Cups, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Four of Wands. There's change on the mind. There's change being desired, even created um, in different forms. Uh, you're manifesting change by saying, I would like this to end uh, sooner than it's uh, supposed to or is going to quote unquote or has been voiced or I want to gain this at this point or by this point. And they're saying, don't fret. 
everything is and will more so moving forward fall into place and give you a new sense of structure but also freedom um, to benefit you greatly but i also feel like in the midst of you choosing recently and even more so in the next 40 to do what's right for you the wheel now is shifting in your favor it's moving to benefit you and your world greatly you can't help but feel this strong uh intuitive feeling coming back to be or coming to be for the first time that you are going to be making the right choice uh, that something is the right choice to take on um, or maybe more so to continue but it feels like a very new beginning for a lot drawn to the reading there's a stern and hard working way about you in the next 48 and i feel as if this is paying off and even more so turning the wheel uh to your advantage um you're always going to have enough is what i'm getting and i know your past doesn't necessarily or fully uh, support that um, but I do feel as if, especially at this point along your path, and more so moving forward, you will always have enough, whether it's financial, whether it's opportunities, um, time, you're always going to have enough. Um, but what else do we have? I want to pull a couple of these, um, what is this, the wisdom deck? Sacred uh, destiny, rather. Anyways, um, you might find that your destiny specifically individually is taking a highlight miracles ooh, and a lack of trust coming through separately or you could find there are miracles taking place in a situation where there's a lack of trust or at least not full trust um it definitely you know highlights one situation for me okay two uh where i don't feel i can trust uh certain people um in their saying then utilize that to your advantage it doesn't mean you go and cause issues in regards to it or um, create negative energy what it does mean is now uh, now that you're remembering this or maybe learning this for the first time uh, in certain situations you uh, are going to then be able to strategically avoid dodge um, and even strategically maybe associate in order to uh, protect yourself okay um, and not create a sticky situation is what i'm getting but look at this, embracing opportunity left and right, creating opportunity for yourself to the point where things work out for you. You might find that time is crawling quite slowly in the next 48, as I do feel as if I've been speaking to you, channeling for you, or for us, I should say, for the, the entirety of the reading, but it's we're only about halfway through. Adventures, your life is... I feel recently it might be you know for a while for some uh, drawn to the reading been lacking adventure I feel as if you're not going to rush in the next 48 but it might feel like you kind of have to there, there's enough time all right there may even feel like there's too much time in the day um, I was going to after uh, doing two full readings this morning and them coming out pretty crappy due to me having shaky energy a shaky voice in them i was going to then just take the rest of today off before i go into my serving job around 7 p.m um into the morning but i just felt like there was too much extra time and i really just would rather put my energy and resources my time towards helping you guys and and then helping myself by watching back this reading and you know it was just meant to be at this timing within the day don't get frustrated with yourself, okay? Don't get frustrated with your, um, for some, your anxiety or your uh, spiritual activity taking place, your spiritual connection in general. Don't get frustrated with the time crawling on by. For somebody, it's going to be at work as well. It's like, uh, you, recently I feel time has been flying on by too quickly, right? And that may have been relevant to say you looking back at the month or the week uh, the day and it's like where did where the hell did the time go right um and i feel as if this is purposeful to kind of slow things down all right um you also want to kind of speed up uh time in regards to a change that you want to take place moving forward i don't know if we already said that or not but they're saying take a deep breath okay everything's changing growing uh, and going to happen at the right timing okay and you're only going to frustrate yourself um and maybe adjust the energy negatively if you yeah try to rush things or try to manifest things uh changing quicker um what else do we have I want one more of these excuse me 
Um, if you haven't been ultra happy recently, I feel the next 48 will lighten things up for you, okay? Um, yeah, look at this. Put back into the deck, it came out with embracing. So you're needing to embrace adventure at this time and more so along your path moving forward. Let's pull a couple of these. Um, some more tarot, basically. The Queen of Wands and the Six of Pentacles, you're passionately achieving, accomplishing, developing, and gaining the abundance you deserve. Uh, more so meant to point to the Six of Pentacles. You're going to need to remember to drink a ton of water because I feel uh, you'll forget, okay? Um, as well, just uh, try to steer clear of temptation. I'm getting that specifically because I feel a lot drawn to the reading will give in, regardless of what kind that is. I do feel you are going to have a focus as well on a separate note on a successful career um, that you are more so getting ready for or experiencing at this time. But we're moving on to safe and happy travel, protection from harm when journeying. This might be in the midst of taking on and embracing adventure for some, but this may as well be simply when you are um, migrating to and from uh, this and that of importance or just uh, obligations within your world and they're saying I know there are certain sketchy people out there I know there are certain um, worrisome or bad energies out there you know what I mean um, it definitely reminds me of me taking the bus here in California it can be quite gross and sketchy uh, you can imagine um, but yeah they're saying you are protected from harm and whatnot now, the Dragonfly card, Leo, is saying you're absolutely an individual soul, and this is uh, nothing new for you. Um, I feel you bring light to this world, and people are thanking you for that. People are honoring that, and people want more of what you have to offer, okay? It's even in moments when you're overly serious, in moments when you're stern, maybe, um, yeah, I want to say a little bit moody, and it may not be your energy, especially for my empaths. It feels as if you bring light to people's worlds, to a situation or situations uh, regardless. Okay, you need to remember that. Um, I just heard we all go through it, all right? But look, it's a time to shine, my friend. Take care of yourself, embrace and uh, enjoy the healing process, enjoy the accomplishing, and know that um, you are going to shine regardless, shining that beautiful Leo light. Let's pull a couple more, and we'll move on back to the tarot before we wrap this up. You're on target, my friend. It may not feel like it. It may not be completely evident, but you're on target. There may as well be, I want to say, more than one uh, bullseye to take place. You acquire this new situation. You make this amount of money, uh, right? Or you get your commission or your revenue uh, or whatever else it could be um, added up or adding up. And you gain that prosperity to support the, the bullseyes uh, that you're meant to hit, okay? I hit it with a bang is what I just heard. And we also need to be focusing on breaking bad habits. And there's one specifically that you know you overdo um, time and time again. But uh, I also wanna say that one of the evenings uh, in the next 48 is going to feel quite magical. And um, they're saying there's a perfection kind of a way about it, even though I don't feel it is perfect. Uh, but you are all the meanwhile manifesting money, so keep that in mind, especially for those who have felt a lack or want, maybe more so need more money, okay? Um, and your perseverance is very alive in the next 48 and paying off. Let's pull one or two more terrors before we wrap up this reading. For Leo, uh, we're moving on, if I could pick it up, the Seven of Wands. Protect yourself, okay? You gotta do what you gotta do with uh, the Eight of Cups, uh, again, being on the board. And that's a simple fact. And you will do what you have to do regardless of um, other people's agendas, okay? Regardless of what was said before. You gotta do what you gotta do. Um, the Ace of Pentacles. I'm not gonna pick it up because uh, I don't feel like it, but definitely talking about you, uh, thinking about a new financial obligation of some sort, uh, or it could be a new employment opportunity or a new business and maybe expansion, but for a lot, it's like a housing situation, a car, something of the sort. When you are alone in the next 48, enjoy it. Please don't um, sit in bad energy, okay? Do something productive or fun for yourself. I truly hope this was helpful. A ton of love and light.